hello my friends and welcome to the channel today i want to show you how you can solve a common problem in wordpress um, especially if you're using elementor um, so basically there are sometimes when you run into an error when you're trying to update um, your changes you made using elementor and basically it's going to say something like server error 403 and in brackets you see 403 error okay so basically um there are a number of things that can cause this error but if you actually have wordpress and wordfence plugin then there is a very likelihood that that error is caused by the interaction between the two plugins so elementor and wordfence okay so i'm going to show you a one trick you can you know apply on your wordfence settings and that will get rid of that 403 error Okay, so basically, let me come to my back end, and as you can see, I have WordFence installed. So come to WordFence and go to All Options. So that I'll just do that. All right, so we are in WordFence, and this is all of the options we have. So let's just scroll down. I don't need this, I don't need this, and I'm just going to scroll down to Allow Listed URL. So Typically, you may see yours like this if you're installing WordPress or if you have actually have not, you know, worked with these settings. So just click on this to open it up. And I want you to add, you know, a parameter. So in this first place where it says URL, right, I want you to enter forward slash WP hyphen admin. Okay. And then I need to add another forward slash and say admin hyphen Ajax okay then dot php okay i hope you got that so let me just go over it again so the forward slash double p hyphen admin forward slash admin hyphen ajax dot php okay and then the second option here param type post body i want you to leave it at ease and if it's actually not set make sure that you set it to post body and then for the parameter name okay i want you to say actions and then click on add okay so um, go ahead and come here and click on save changes and then your changes should be saved next you can simply just go to your WordPress and refresh the page first and then try to make your updates and it should work if that error was due to the interaction between Elementor and WordFence Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like content like this, I want to encourage you to subscribe and to leave a like on the video. Alright, see you later.